Hello everybody, in this Blender 3D video demo, I would like to show the modeling of a product like casing with even wall thickness and that is also exportable as potentially manufacturable IGS nerves. Okay, let's start. Okay, got basic shape over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a subdivision surface modifier to have a feel of how it will eventually look like. Okay, so we got uh, this kind of shape over here. And to apply or create an even wall thickness, basically we just have to add the solidify modifier, okay, which I'm going to do so now. And let me just give it a more realistic uh, thickness. Let's just put the tree and see how. Okay, so I've got something that uh, is like 3 mm. And you'll notice that if you go to the side, you can see that the height here is not flat. Okay, so this is not desirable, we want this area to be flat and in order to do that, what we can do is at the solidify modifier, change the mode from simple to complex and then we got other options and we might want to try using the boundary set to flat Okay, yeah uh, You can see that once it's set to flat, right? This area will be flat and this is what we actually desire okay so once we got this right I think we can uh, apply the solidify so what I'm going to do is come here set the apply and maybe I just turn off this okay okay you notice that uh, this area is rounded but if this area is meant to be flat we need to do something about it and in the previous video where I talked about the exporting to IGS and some of the tweaks that is required to do it if you have not seen it you might want to come to this label to watch the video okay and in that video I've showed that uh, we can use a loop cut Control plus R key to sharpen this. In this video, I want to show another method which can be potentially better. So let's sh show you how to do it. Okay, let's go back to edit mode. And what we can do is we can use the H crease. Okay, to press Alt A to select, to deselect everything. And I'm going to select these two set of edges for sharpening of the edges okay I'm going to use the edge loop selection I'm going to press alt key select okay let me repeat this again make sure that I'm in the edge selection okay alt I'm going to press shift alt to select the inner set as well okay so I got like two set of edges and now I need to like uh, make this part sharp okay to do that you can go to H H crease or press the shift plus E key okay and then you have to drag can you see you have to drag the value or the factor to get your desired result okay so over here I'm dragging it to factor of 1 which is the most sharp result Okay, so that this is what I need and as demonstrated in the previous video we actually do not necessarily need to have the subdivision service modifier in certain cases and now in this case actually I don't want it so I can click this away and we can export this okay as IGS so I go to file okay sorry let's change this to object mode first Go to file, export, IGS, 
let's call it casing with shelling okay and let's pop this okay and for this demo I'm going to use free cap to show the result to file import casing with shelling yeah you can see the result came in nicely with that I come to the end of this uh, demo hope that's been useful see you bye